Hello, hello. Hey, Chris. Um, how you doing today? I did I did a special. I'm doing a special live um, because uh, there's some strange stuff that happened today. But how you doing? I just had uh, my best friend Trina was today. Hey, John. How you doing? Hey, Shana. What is up, Katie? Yeah, it's a strange, uh, strange thing. Um, let me turn my fan on real quick. It's a little warm in here, uh, but I just came from my best friend's funeral. It's a uh, <clears throat> funeral went pretty good. Hey, Tina. Hey, Osby. Um, yeah. It. Hey, Linda. Hey, Corey. Hey, what's up, Ed and Hugo? What's up, OJ? Um, I'll let some more people, I guess, come in a little bit to let you know what uh, what it went on. But it, it was, for the most part, 95% of the funeral was pretty good. But you would not believe the other 5%. So, what is up? I can't read that, but hey, how are you doing from... I don't know if it's Israel or what is that, but I'm glad you showed up. Um, hey, Mark. Yeah, the police, the police were at the funeral, and they wasn't there to look at. They wasn't there to play respects. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, here's what happened. Hey, what's up, Wayne? Uh, thank you. Uh, you're just in time, Wayne. I'm about to tell everybody what happened at the funeral today. For the most part, 95% of it, maybe 99% of it was was great. Um, his boss, his boss really, oh man, his speech was fabulous. Uh, yeah, I was tearing up. Well, as you guys know, I'm going to let you know, somebody showed up at the wedding. You will not believe who showed up at this wedding. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let y'all guess. Who do you think showed up at this wedding? Hey, video, how you doing? You guys guess who showed up? Who do you think showed up at this wedding? I mean, at this funeral? Yes. Jason? Yeah, I say wedding. I told the police that too. Wedding, funeral, it's the same thing. It's just different colors, white and then black. But uh, yes, my crazy freaking neighbor was there. I was talking to my friend. I'm going to have to tell you. I'm going to have to tell you the story. I was talking to my friend outside and I looked over. I said, is that my crazy neighbor? Like, no. Nah. Then when he was walking off, I yelled. I said, hey, that's her. Well, she didn't follow me because I went to the rental car place first and then there and I got a habit of watching my rearview mirror. So I know nobody followed me. My buddy did not know this lady, didn't know her. Well, uh, you're not going to believe what happened next. I'm sitting in the pew, right? Me and my ex-girlfriend was sitting there. We were sitting there. And um, my buddy and his wife were sitting in back of us. I saw the lady sit. The crazy lady sat like three, four, five pews back, like pews back. So I turned around. We wasn't saying nothing. We were just staring at the casket, you know. And um, I hear something in my ear right here. I hear something right here in my ear. She says, I'll slap the, your face right now, uh, but we're in the funeral. The, the girl in the back of me didn't even know who, who what she was, my buddy's wife. Didn't even know who that lady was. She goes, I said, that's my crazy neighbor. I don't even know why. She was even there. Well, guess what happened? In the middle, in the smack dab middle of the funeral, when the pastor was up there talking, the police came in there and said, Mr. Clark, can you walk back here with me? I had to go back to another room and he tell me that I got a gun, right? I said, yeah, I got a gun. I said, I got a concealed carry for this gun. He took the gun. We we had to go outside. 
the pastor even told him that he can go through a side door so we can go outside and talk. He went straight in the middle of the funeral down the aisle to walk me out to talk to me about my gun. And I said, uh, he says, I'll feel more secure if we held this gun until after the funeral. I said, I'll feel more secure if I kept my own gun because I can conceal carry license. That's what it's for to make me feel secure. I said, mostly that's why I got the gun because of this crazy lady. So, uh, I said, I, I got have my gun. I said, look, I want my gun back. If I'm not being detained, I'm going back inside. He handed me my gun. I went back inside. Uh, it's really sad that the, and this lady does not even have a reason to go to this funeral. Didn't even know him. Didn't even know him. And uh, I have a best friend's funeral. I told a police officer, I said, hey, it's my best friend's funeral, man. I said, I can conceal carry license. There's no, the pastor didn't care I had it. He just asked me if I was security. I said, no, I have a concealed carry. I showed the pastor my concealed carry license. It was his church. He did not have a problem with me having it. So why did the cops have a problem with me? So it, it was bad. It was, it was really ignorant of this lady to do that. And then she was standing on the, I'm going to tell you, after that happened and I was still in there, she thought I was going to go to jail or something. Guess what? she was standing there while I was sitting right here. She was standing like up here in the corner of my eye. She kept walking forward almost to the where the pastor was so I could see her out my corner of my eye so I can make sure I know she's there. And she was standing there with her uh, with her coat on, and she did this. She she had her hand inside her jacket like this, like she had a gun. And I'm like, we're at a funeral, lady. I said, we're going to have a shootout at a funeral. I cannot make this up. It's uh, unbelievable is all I can say. But I don't know. I might have to go see about getting restraining order to see. Because uh, I already had a restraining on her before. It lasts two years and it's just canceled. Uh, but it's uh, it's sad that she do some that at somebody's funeral. She, she owns a gun. That's why I actually got a gun card so I could have a gun because this crazy lady over there has a gun. Uh, she actually, that's why I got my cameras on my house because she actually stuck a gun in my face and I told her I would grab that gun and shove it in her crazy eyeball that I'm not scared of no gun. So it's, uh, it's really sad. And the cop told me I should have told, I should have called the police. I said, I'm not going to call the police. It's some lady saying she's going to slap my face. If I wasn't in the funeral, if I wasn't there, she would slap me in my face. First of all, First of all, you would not even tell me you'll slap me in my face if you was in the street. Why would you wait to a funeral to say you would do that? And in front of three other people that were just sitting right there. But Chancellor, um, I live in an area where I watch my back every single day, so it's, it's nothing new. I'm, I'm always watching my back, so. But that's my crazy neighbor, and she ain't home right now, or I would set a tripod outside because if she saw me home right now, she would start tripping. So you might have some video of her soon. So I'll be home today. I'll be home tomorrow because a deal fell through for promo. So a deal fell through. I'm not going to be doing this one promo. But I might get some good footage of her. But I got some, I got some editing to do. I'll be doing some editing tonight. Uh, and tomorrow and Monday. So I'm going to get some much needed editing done. Yeah, I got, I got myself covered with my cameras, but she tries to use, she tried to use my cameras against me before. And the cops want to see my cameras. It's something she alleged me doing. I said, officer, I didn't pay $800 for these cameras or probably $1,200 for her to try to accuse me to use my cameras against me. I said, she needs to buy her own cameras if she's accusing me of stuff. This is for me to cover my own butt. 
knocking noise. It might have been this. I don't know. I got this at a, a, a pizza place. I went to my buddy's repass. It might be this one. I went to my cousin's repass, and I didn't eat anything. We just left and went to another pizza place that I had free pizza at for a year. I got two free pizzas a month for a year at this place. We did two different Oops, sorry. We did two different challenges at. So I, I want to leave some food at the repass. But people noticed me at the funeral, and he goes, hey, I watch your videos. And they was wanting to, to, to see if they can eat more faster chicken wings than me at the repast. But I wasn't going to waste their food. Yeah, she needs to be in a crazy home, but I've already called the Illinois uh, State Mental Institute on her. Oh, my buddy, uh, we've been friends ever since probably junior high school. Um, he died at 41. His birthday was the same day as mine, March 30th. His, his birthday was in 1977. Mine was 76. Yeah, I, it was no big shock, I guess. It, I guess it was, but I know the person she is, so it's not a real crazy out of the way thing that she might have done, but you do it at somebody's funeral, and I don't even know why she was there. So other than that, guys, that's uh that was all really about about that, but it turned out to be a uh, turned out to be a really good. Uh, funeral uh, had the visitation to begin with and other than that I just wanted to get home and back up all my files on my computer because one of one of the disposal team had uh, inboxed me about uh, a contest I'm going to be at in Georgia on the second on Sunday the second so uh, he told me my computer might be crashing on me. My, my hard drive might be going out. So I'm backing up all my stuff that's on my hard drive, which is not much. I got it on my, my exterior drive anyway. But I want all my programs and stuff uh, backed up. So uh, make sure that that goes good. So just in case this crashes, then I have to get me another computer. So other than those problems, I'm just got editing to do. And I wanted to go live and and, and people's been missing my live because I go late at night and people that, that don't, don't live in the United States, they don't get to see my live. So I'm going to try to switch it up every now and then to go live, uh, maybe in the middle of the day. Um, but I know it was only like a couple hours difference, but I just got home and. Uh, James D, I'm going to start with questions now. So James D asks. What kind of food challenges are you doing? I have a food challenge. I had a, a promotion that I was trying to do to get money. Um, it was in by Indianapolis. I was going straight through Indianapolis anyway to go to Ohio. But I have uh, in Cincinnati. Let me get my paper. On the 28th in Cincinnati, I'll be uh, at a pizza place, uh, Ramundo's, at 5 p.m. Um, it's already scheduled. I'm going to call them at 3.30 to make sure everything's kosher. Uh, but at 5 p.m., I'll be at Ramundo's. It's on Linwood Avenue. There's more than one. So I'll be in Cincinnati on the 28th. Uh, I'll be in Cincinnati on the 29th as well. So uh, I'll be staying the night somewhere in Cincinnati in my car, uh, Walmart or uh, a rest area somewhere, usually Walmart around there, Super Walmart. But uh, I'll be at Cincinnati on an amigos bar and patio for a taco contest it's finals i was there the other like a couple weeks ago for semifinals so now i'm back for finals and that will be at amigos bar and patio a video drummer yeah, she is crazy, and that's one crazy video of her I have of her. Um, if you look at the acorn squash video, that's the real crazy video I have of her. So acorn squash, look that up after this live. And let me I'm gonna get to some questions. Try the peanut butter pizza challenge since you like pizza so much. Uh, little T, I'm gonna do next Friday. I think I will be 
here at my house and I'm going to try to do all kind of stuff on my table. I have a pizza. I have a whole pizza, maybe two pizzas. I might as well do two pizzas. I got them on sale. Three, three Red Baron pizzas for $9. I'm lying. Maybe it's Tony's, but I had three of them. So I got 27 pizzas because it was three for $9. So it was a good deal. So I put them all in my deep freezer. But I'll have two pizzas on the table. I'll have all type of different stuff. So it'll be a crazy next next Friday is going to be a crazy eating escapade. I'm just going to put all kind of peanut butter on pizza. I'm going to do some more tuna and ice cream, maybe. Mmm. So yeah, it's going to get it's going to get crazy. I got loaves of bread ready to go. All kind of sandwiches. Bam. All kinds of sandwiches. I'm going to make sandwiches galore. So you're going to you're going to get an eyeful. I don't have sardines. I don't have all that stuff. But whatever I have, I'm going to go. I'm going to go shopping. Not. I'm going to go get deals. I'm I'm getting food. That's 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 I, I get deals on. So I will. I'll, I'll have whatever's on sale. Maybe some lettuce wraps with cereal in it and syrup. I don't know. Uh, thanks, Hugo, boss. I appreciate you coming. Hey, Nicola. Not a brat. Pickles. Oh, I'll have plenty of pickles. We'll be pickled out. I'll put pickles on pizza. I don't care. Pickles and ice cream. All right, Nikki, uh, thanks for coming. I hope you hunker down for the storm and hope it ain't too bad. Uh, charge up all your stuff and uh, cut your uh, cut your dimmer down on your phone so you don't use all the brightness on your phone so your phone lasts longer. Tip of the day for Nikki. Oh, People, I have a really, 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 really thrifty video. Um, it's going to take a long time to edit, so it's going to it's going to be here. But I have a lot in one file of a lot of stuff that I save money on. It's a bit. It's going to be like a Friday video with no food involved. It might be how I save money on food, but it's going to be a lot of saving tips. All right, Wayne, I appreciate you coming. Um, hope you have a great day unless you made other plans. I'm a hearing right that's not supposed to happen. Uh, what do you mean what's supposed to happen, Nicola? Thanks, Ed. Hey, welcome, Fry. Yeah, if you guys want to know what happened at the funeral today that was crazy, I'm just going to let you know my crazy neighbor showed up and she don't even know my friend and she didn't follow me. So I don't know what the deal was, but the cops was called. If you After this video, if you guys want to know everything about it, go ahead and tune in and watch the video again. And I have witnesses, so I'm not crazy. Unless all three of the rest of them are crazy. And we didn't hear what we heard. Like how to give not a pickles. What is up, Kevin? How are you doing? Mike, how are you doing, Mike? You caught me because I, I came on earlier today. Thank you. I am crazy. I am crazy good eater with a crazy neighbor in a crazy world. I think the devil does use her and she will outlive me. That's that's going to be the devil. That's the devil at work. She will outlive me. But I tell everybody I will not kill that lady. I will not kill her. But I will dance at her funeral. I'll be the first one there and the last one to leave. No smiling, no laughing. 
staring right at you. Yeah, only good die young. That's the song in it. Heck, I should have been gone then. If you ask me. Okay, I'm gonna get to some questions. Uh, let me see. No questions. So I'm just gonna talk. You starting a shop up for your merch. I've always sold my t-shirts. Bam. Look at that. I've uh I got my t-shirts on every one of my videos. If you look in the comments, uh, you'll see my shirts. I have I have white shirts as well, but I don't wear too many white shirts because I'm scared to get them dirty. But I have white shirts left for a limited time only because I'm not doing white shirts anymore. I'm going to do, I got large, I have extra large, and I have 3X, only sizes I have in, in white. But I have from small all the way to 4X in black. Um, and guys, I only have these kind of shirts right now because I pay for them out of my pocket. Each shipment that I get is $1,500. So eventually, the next shipment I have, I'm going to put... I'm going to have shirts like this that's going to say on the back, that's what she said, and disposal team, hashtag disposal team. I'll have both of those shirts, and I'm also going to have V-neck shirts for the ladies and for the guys that want V-neck shirts, okay? I'm not judging. If you want to buy it, I'm selling it. So I will do V-neck shirts as well, but V-neck shirts will only come in small to large, okay? Small to large, I I got to do it like that. Unless you buy it in advance, but I won't get those shirts till like December or January. So if you want to buy it in advance, I'm a man of my word. I'll put you on a list and you will get it. But if you want anything other than small and all the way to a large, I'll have those. But anything other than large and V-necks, then you need to pay up front. Then I'll get those special special order for you for the same price. $20 flat rate plus shipping. Shipping's $5 for one, two dollars uh, $8 for two. In the US, can, can Canadians like $9 for one and I don't know, 14 for two. Uh outside of country, we might have to see about it because I don't even know if you can get the stuff. I got some some stuff going out the country now, but Hopefully they get it. They'll let me know and I'll see how it goes. If they get those, then I will send one at a time out the country to make sure everybody gets it. Cause I, I, I'll feel bad if you don't get it because they're going to charge me for you not getting it. Oh yes. Thanks. Not a brat. Please share my videos. And I tell you guys, you don't have to send me money. You don't have to send me money, but if you share my video, it gets out to more people, and that helps me out. So not mad at all. Don't have to send me any kind of money. But if you share my video, and please like it, share it on Twitter, Instagram, with your boss. I tell people on Facebook, but with your boss, I tell people, share my video with your boss because it gets your time off work, and you get paid because you sit there and say, hey, did you what? Hey, uh, Sally, say say your boss name, Sally. Hey, Sally, you saw the garbage disposals video, and she's gonna be like, "Yes, duh," and um, you can talk about my video for about ten minutes, fifteen if you want to. Hell, go for twenty. See what you can do, and uh, get paid while you're talking about my video. And you can talk about my video like two to three times a week. So, bam, that's like an hour worth of pay for doing nothing. But having a good time and laughing and building a bond with your boss. I had to stare at my finger while I do it to make sure it's crossed because I, I got a problem. My fat fingers, I got a problem crossing my fingers. Oh, you get canned, Mike? I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Well, you got to fill the situation out. So if you're like Mike and you're smart about it, 
maybe you don't want to tell your boss because you might be in the bathroom listening to the video and the earphones and watching the video too long, too much. So I don't know how you do it, but do what you got to do without getting in trouble and fired. Okay. We don't want that to happen. Oh, you work on, oh, okay, Mike. Hey, speaking of working on a comp, Mike, somebody told me my, my computer is about to go on a Fritz. Uh, one, one legged Honda mechanic told me this. Uh, I had a blue screen last night, a blue screen. First time it ever happened, went across and said 0% something that I had to restart. Never saw that in my life. He said, my computer was about to, was let me know, Hey, I'm about to go. Yeah. So I backed up everything. I'm backing up everything as we speak on one of my hard drives. I got this. It's the four terabyte. So I'm backing up. I don't have much on my computer anyway. I, I, I keep everything on my on my terabytes on my um, on my externals. So I have all my videos on my externals already. All of them. And I got a backup tower in the other room with backup of my backup. So I'm getting everything backed up to my externals every 12 hours is starting to back up. So I'm not worried about it. Well, I'm worried about it because I got to get another computer if I have to. And I don't want to. But if worse comes to worse, guys, do not worry about it. If you don't see me in like a week, I'm still good because my schedules on YouTube, I still got my video scheduled. So it's going to be business as usual. Business as usual. So I'm going to have my videos keep coming out while I'm trying to get another computer. It's going to take me like three days to get me a computer. I don't care if I have to. I can't say it on here, but if I have to go buy a bank real fast and be running, jogging and whatever. But if I have to get it, I will get my, my, my new computer by any means necessary. Okay, I'm sorry I'm missing stuff. Ed, $20 a shirt, no matter what size. No matter what size I have, I don't have a 5X right now, any in black, but I have in black, I have small to 4X. In white, I have large, extra large, and 3X. Any shirt, any size, $20 a piece. Shipping's $5, $5 now because every time I go to the post office, they're charging me $4.80 minimum. So United States Post Office just went up on their stuff. I'm like, it used to be 380 or something like that. So now it's five dollars for one shirt, two shirts, it's eight dollars, I want to say. So even in even in Hawaii, Hawaii, they must ship there a lot because it's the same shipping there. They don't charge me extra. Now Alaska might be a different story depending on where it's at. But if you're in Alaska and you're watching and you're watching my channel and you want a shirt, I'm going to stick to my same U.S. charge because you're in the United States. Canadian people, I'm sorry. It's like nine dollars for one and 14 for two. Overseas, it's like 15 to 20, 15 to 20 overseas because I'm shipping to India, U.K., Sweden. Uh, and that's like in Czech, Czech Republic. So I got shirts over there already now, but I appreciate everybody for just sharing my videos. And um, if you want to get a shirt, tell the 17th of next month, uh, all the money, all the money, ship, except shipping, you know, I'm paying shipping out of the money, but all the money that I get on any of my shirts, any of them, it's going to my friend's family. So his kids, his wife, I'm going to help his mom out a little bit. Uh, and other than that, after the 17th, then I'll business as usual on the shirts. But And you can send the money through PayPal. Uh, PayPal takes their 5% or whatever, 2%, 5%. But, yeah, you can send the money through PayPal or you can send the money order to my P.O. box. Or you can use a Venmo app. If you got Venmo, I use Venmo for free. It's a... They don't charge you anything except you want the money right away. They charge you 25 cents. Uh, but other than that, 
Thanks, Mike. And they're comfortable. They're real soft. They almost put you to sleep. P.O. Box is a post office box, little T. Um, just look in my in my comment on my description on all my videos. You'll see my my pope my pope my post office box. All right, yeah, Maryland's going to be a while. Uh, not a brat. It's going to be a while. I might get that way this winter. Maybe there might be something in the works. I can't say nothing because there's other people involved, like maybe seven other people involved. So it's going to be a big, big deal. Can't, can't spill the beans now. Thanks, Katie. Yes, these and people, people, people think I'm lying. I do not lie on Saturdays, especially the fourth Saturday of the month. They're soft. But when they get them, they do not understand. They're soft. They're not Walmart shirts, okay? They're not hard, and you put them on, and they're soft. Okay, let me see if I missed any questions. Welcome back, Chancellor. No eggs, lazy chickens. Better start earning their keep. Oh, yes. I know about the chickens. I used to have chickens until my crazy neighbor called the police on me. I didn't have any any roosters. I had all hens. But they laid about an egg a day. So I had 40 of them. I got about 36 eggs a day, 35 eggs. But uh, they did pretty good. Until some dogs jumped in the yard and had a little ways with them. There was... Uh, there was, uh, I don't know what to say, pretty startled for a while. They didn't lay any eggs for like three months. All right. Thanks, Linda, because uh, I'm going to have to need, yeah, I'm going to have to start jumping on that. That's what she said. But yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take care of some video editing. I got some um, I got a lot of stuff that I want to do. Split screen. It's gonna be like this with me over here and me dressed up a different way over here. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff in my in my brain that I need to let loose. Computer question: Is it Windows or Mac or Android? I guess Windows and Android are the same thing, but this is Windows. Windows 10. Uh, but uh, I'm not an app, uh, Apple person, so no Apple. No Apple unless I'm eating it. No Apple computer, no Macs. Not, it's too, too much money for me to switch over to all that. So I got like three or four phones. Two of them is hooked to the, to the thing and whatever. But all my stuff in my house are Android. My brother, on the other hand, is all Apple. He does all Apple, all Mac. And the bad acting, um, I just had a rough time uh, lately. So bad acting, I have some bad acting videos that I need to edit to put on some other videos. So that will be coming up shortly. But I am trying to get all my contests out starting next week and the week after. I'm trying to scoot all my contests out and get those out. Because every contest I do from now on, I need to put out within a week, within eight days, okay? So the next day to eight days, I need to put out. I'm not putting, I need, don't need to put Fort July hot dog contest out in Thanksgiving, okay? It just doesn't seem right. So I'm going to be putting these videos out, but I think the taco contest that I just do, I think I'm going to try to edit that within a day or two and get that put out. But the contests are probably not going to have too many bad acting in it because I just need to get that out there. But I'm, I'm not going to skimp on the bad acting here. I got a green screen, 20, 10 by 20 green screen. So I'm going to be I'm going to be testing that out. Well, congratulations, Anada. Um, yeah, my daughter, my daughter will be 21 in November. So 
she's getting a little old too, and so am I. The blue screen error only happened once, Fry. Uh, but if it happened again, I, I do have Norton. I got Norton Antivirus 360. I get it every single year. And everybody, if you want Norton for for cheap, the cheapest Norton ever is on Amazon. Go to Amazon.com, look up Norton, and you might can find a code for like a Norton coupon code. You Google that. But the cheapest Norton I found was on um, Amazon. Do not do not get the one when you have to get it. They say it's expiring. You need to get it. You can get it like half off if you go to Amazon. I think I used a remote assistance on something before and they helped me out a lot. Cause my, my computer was bogging down. I couldn't even do any kind of editing. They did a great job. So next time I do call, I will uh, I will chat with them. But I only got that 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 one time. So if it happens again, I'll do it. Well, some people have their own things, video. Some people have their own conceptions of different things, and they're real strongly about it. So it probably wouldn't do no good to argue with it about, about Norton uh, because it's like politics. If you're a Republican and I'm a Democrat, we might as well just change the subject. I know you, your video, I mean, you're, you say you're a uh, – you're a PC tech. You're real strong about your opinion. And I feel that Norton is pretty, pretty out there. Everybody has them. And if it's, I mean, if it's a virus, a lot of people are buying that virus because it's uh, helping their computer. But that's my, that's my thing. And anybody can use anything for a negative. So if they want to put something in there and everybody has it and control the world, then they might can do that. But other than that, I keep Norton. Uh, all my computers have been doing good. I've been catching a lot of viruses uh, that not a lot of them. I don't do a lot of surfing and crazy stuff. They say, they say you really don't need Norton if you got Windows 10 because it has its own, its own antivirus. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I got these free candies. They look like watermelons, kind of. But they're not watermelon. They taste like them candies my grandmother had on the kitchen table or on the little end table around Christmas time. That cheap, that cheap candy stuff. Oh, I understand video. I mean, I'll, I'll knock you for it. Everybody has their, uh, their opinion. And um, hell, we can agree to disagree. I'm not. I'm that kind of person. I don't know. Uh, hell, nobody has to agree with me for me to be a friend. Like my best friend that died, we argued a lot. I mean, we had better, more better times than we did arguing, but we argued about stuff. We was honest about everything. If I didn't like it, he didn't like it. We we told each other. So, but hell, you know that's what some people try to be other people's friend and just do whatever they do, like. Oh, I'm just going to agree with everything they agree with. A real friend will tell you uh, when they don't agree with you and still be a friend. John McCain died just now. I didn't know the guy. and I mean, I feel sorry for his family if he died, but... Uh, I'll tell you about the story. My mom died. My mom no, did. She didn't die. Woo. When Michael Jackson died, I was still drinking. I was still hitting the bottle. I walked in the house. I was like, Mom, what's wrong? I thought something was really seriously wrong. Well, to me, 
I thought it was seriously wrong. She, uh, my mom was crying because Michael Jackson died. And uh, I said, Mom, so you don't even know the guy. Yeah, he's with Tupac. Delta, Delta. Um, I think Michael Jackson's with Tupac. And they're probably, probably with some guy named Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh Elvis, yes, and Elvis, Katie, you caught it right when I said it. Elvis is there, believe me. Sorry to hear that, little. See, about nineteen years ago, you. Uh, how old was you? Linda, who'd you meet? Who'd your mom meet? Elvis, Michael Jackson, Bigfoot, or uh, John McCain? Hey, Von Lippy, how you doing? Oh, Michael Jackson. Okay. Michael Jackson likes ice cream, I see. Oh. I want to buy that Bigfoot that's carrying that a flamingo. He's carrying a flamingo like this. You look on Amazon and you can Google Bigfoot carrying flamingo or something like that. Oh man, it's 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 they got they got uh skull caps. I'm gonna get a skull cap with uh with the Bigfoot carrying this flamingo. I think it'll be funny. If you you probably can Google search it too. Custom thumbnail. Something just popped up on my um on my on my computer screen. It said custom thumbnails on my the editing tools that I use, my editing software. So maybe my editing software can start doing thumbnails for me instead of me going to another program. Oh man, it's older than me. Von Lippy, I'm not sure the I'm not sure the exact reason why he died. I'm not sure if his family, uh, I don't know if his family say he died in sleep, but yeah, he was young though. He was 41 years old. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm I'm not gonna get in detail about 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 that. But he'll be missed um, greatly. He had an Eddie Murphy laugh. It was annoying. I told him that quite a few times. And if he was mad about a situation and he was trying to joke around, the laugh didn't make it any easier. Sound like Eddie Murphy. Serious. This, this is what I eat for a snack. Some honey wheat pretzels. Clancy. This comes from Aldi's discount store they're good katie september 23rd and who else had the 18th ed well happy early birthday to you guys you guys don't have a birthday month do you i got people that okay weekend i'm gonna party the weekend of my birthday okay i'll let that slide a weekend, birthday weekend. People got birthday weeks, birthday months. So you got one twelfth of the year is your birthday. One twelfth, you got a birthday month. Little C, German chocolate cake is a good cake. You know, for my um, for my birthday, my mom used to give me carrot cake every. Every birthday, carrot cake. Oh, carrot cake, carrot cake, carrot cake. Well, 
Then she started giving me this pizza that I never bought because it was so high. Emo's Pizza over here in St. Louis. Well, it's, there's one in town. Super Deluxe with whole strips of bacon on it. Super Deluxe. I would never buy that pizza because each pizza is like $23. You will not catch me buying that pizza. But she bought my, me that pizza every birthday after that. July. Linda. Did you say July? You're a little ahead of yourself. Lemon meringue pie. That's good too. If the meringue's really good. I like lemon meringue pies. German, I mean German chocolate cake. Mm, carrot cake. Carrot cake with vanilla ice cream. And you gotta whip it. That's what she said. You gotta whip that ice cream, get the air in it. Ooh. Just like that. You gotta do that too. Mm. All right, video. Hey, video. A UK, the UK charging me like fourteen to fifteen dollars to, to to ship a shirt. So, if you want a shirt, uh, email me first, and I will email you. Uh, I will email you a, a list. This is what I'm going to email you a picture of this because this is the form I have to fill out. I have to fill that up. Uh, that form out it's a customs customs declaration form so i'm gonna email that to you and you tell me what i need to put in them them um, them spots and then we can talk about shipping and stuff like that but i appreciate it hey tracy how you doing Modified chocolate pie or red velvet cake for my birthday since I can't have any dairy. It's a, a special chocolate pie. Hey, Sheena, how you doing? Hey, if anybody wanted to know what happened at the funeral after this live, you can go back and check out the first, I guess it was the first five minutes of the live. And I, and I talked about the whole thing. Uh, if I keep talking about it, everybody is just going to get redundant. And, uh, but uh, no hard feelings, but it's uh, after this, uh, after I post this, it'll post, it'll, it'll upload. And the first five minutes I talk about it, but it, it was a little weird. I guess weird's not even the, Problem is sad. That's what it was. Almond milk. I guess I'll, I'll taste better. I mean, I'll taste good. Hey, people, do people know? Uh, thanks, Sheena. People know how to make caramel from evaporated milk, or is that condensed milk? But you put it in a, in a in a bo in a slow boiler, like a slow cooker. And, and keep about an inch of water above the can. Oh, you keep, you keep that in there for how many? I forgot. You got to Google how many hours you can make caramel. The only cost-effective way to do that, though, condensed milk. Thank you, Linda. Is get a big pot, get a big jarring pot like this big, fill it all with with condensed with the uh, condensed sweet and condensed milk. Just line it up, stack it three or four cans high, line the whole thing up. You got a whole thing of caramel. Not that long. Linda, it's sad to do this for like 12 hours at least. It was a slow cooker thing. I don't know. You do. You don't want to go too fast trying to cook this, you know. You got to cook it with love. 
can't just throw, throw it in the microwave or throw it in boiling water for 10 minutes. Well, let me, where'd you put the ashes at at the Chinese restaurant? Because that's kind of like borderline health health department stuff. Don't tell, I guess, don't tell me where, don't tell nobody where you, which restaurant. Look, see, I'm a, I'm a great cook. I like, I used to cook a lot before I went out of town and did uh, food challenges and stuff, but I cook really good. I like to cook. I love to cook. See, I, I, I don't use the word love much, but I love to cook. I love to eat. I love to make people laugh. Uh, but I cook a lot of stuff. I, ooh. I, have a, um, I have a jalapeno recipe right here. You can't see it, but it's uh, oop, it's like right there. But the dog's covering because I don't want nobody to steal my recipe if you can actually see it. That's, that's jalapeno popper one. But I do banana breads, gooey butter cakes. Uh, stuffed bell peppers, chicken wings, special chicken wings. Uh, I make some shrimp Alfredo, chicken, grilled chicken Alfredo, uh, lasagna, all kinds of stuff. Oh, you took, okay, I got you, Von Lippy. You didn't just dump some ashes around. That's why I was like, Okay, I understand you now. I, I cook banana bread. Actually, I just bought bananas. Uh, the bananas was on sale for 44 cents, but guess what I did? I spent that extra five cents a pound and got the organic for 49 cents. The organic, you cannot get that deal. You cannot get that deal anywhere. But I won't. I won't cook my banana bread on live. I'm on um on a YouTube video. I won't do my banana bread, my gooey butter cake. I sell those, so I won't. I won't do that recipe on there. And people steal my recipe. I do pumpkin breads too. And I uh, I grow my own pumpkin. I grow. I grow my own pumpkins. And then I bake them, and then I puree them, and I put enough in each of these to make three pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread's delicious. I thought my banana bread was fire. Oh, my goodness. You taste my pumpkin bread. No. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, pumpkin bread is so delicious. Whew. Yeah, I won't. I won't tell nobody. I won't tell nobody recipe of my my pumpkin bread, banana bread, gooey butter cake, the stuff I sell. I will not do it on on here. Sorry, not sorry. Man's got to eat. Man's got to make a living. No. I don't believe in the voodoo and stuff like that. Hell, she puts a hex on me all the time. I think she believes that too, uh, Fry, but it backfires on her. Uh, thanks, Sheena. Uh, yeah. Other than that, um, what else do I got to do? I'm about to edit uh, a Special Olympics uh, charity Springfield hot dog uh, contest that I did um, about maybe a month ago. I'm going to go ahead and get that out, get that out, and get that posted. So uh, I'm going to edit the rest of that tonight. Uh, there's a guy by the name of King James Foster, F-O-S-T-E-R, King James Foster. 
He uh he has about five thousand subscribers. He's in Special Olympics. And that's his name on Instagram. Uh, look him up. He's uh he's a real good guy. Um, he has a lot of followers, and he sees everything that uh that the Special Olympics are doing uh with them. I'm just uh trying to pull my Roku channel up so I can put it on state on the uh, on here for you guys, but. I have a Roku station for the people that don't know. I just got a Roku about, I've got it about three or four days now. And if you guys have Roku at home, I've heard the Roku station was easier, easier to uh, manipulate than the YouTube. So. Hey, Miss Hobbs, she's on her um, like third nap. What time is it? 7.50. It's like. 8.45 her time. Miss Hobbs is on her fourth nap today, guys. She got one more to go, I think. One more about probably 11. <laughs> What's up, Trey? Hardest challenge I have done. I'm going to let you know it was just in New Jersey, that 32-inch piece I did, about 11 pounds. It wasn't – um, it's not certified 11. I didn't weigh it on up but up on 11, but I'm going to tell you how my body – my body knows when it gets to 10 pounds, and this was past 10 pounds. So I'm saying it was 11 pounds. It was, uh, it was one I failed last year. I failed the challenge last year this time. I went back to do it. I, and uh, Aaron was with me. Uh, he just got in here in the room. Aaron was with me. That was rough. That was like, that was really hard to do. But it was a big mind thing, right? I wasn't coming back to do it again. I was not coming back. And this was my time to shine. And I, I did it. I'll have it posted, though. But it's going to be about three months for that one. What is up, Ryan Best? Ryan Best is in the house. And I'll be seeing Ryan. What day would I be seeing you, Ryan? Uh, Jack Brown. September 3rd, everybody. I'll be in Alabama, September 3rd. September 2nd, I'll be in Georgia. Hell, I'll be in Illinois on the 1st, right by my house for a chicken contest. I got a bagel contest on Sunday the 2nd in Marietta, Georgia. And then I'm going to Birmingham, Alabama at Jack Brown's. September 3rd on that Monday. So I'm going for a record. October 3rd. No. Brian, I got it now for September 3rd. Because next month is September. I'll be going to the bagel the bagel contest on the second on Sunday. So I'm doing the, I'm doing the Jack Brown on the third on September. Ain't that you said that's the field trip day. In October on the fifth, I have uh, on the sixth, I have Indiana, Seymour, Indiana, Oktoberfest for Bratwurst. Oh, garden's okay. I got a lot of green tomatoes out there. I pick a lot of green tomatoes and leave it out on the stand, and people just come by and, and get pickles and uh, all kind of stuff. But I got an honor system box right next to my stand. It's like the vegetable stands here. Maybe I can go outside and show you. You guys let me know if this – oh, I guess, okay. I can still do it. You guys let me know if this gets to be a bad signal. But I'm going to walk outside and show you my, my – my stand. I hope hopefully my um my signal works good out here. That's all my pick some of my pickling jars. I got all my my this is all my saving, all my stuff. But look at all that. Look at all that saving stuff I get. But here's uh that's my that's my stand right here. So I got my pickles out here. I got all my bags. These are just two dollars a bag. But right here, I got this honor system box, and people put money just sitting here on this table. 
That's what she said. But yeah, I just put uh yeah, I just put it I put the stand right there in the driveway. I don't even gotta be home. And um here along my truck. Everybody likes my padlocks on my truck. So I can't catch a date. I can't catch a date because uh for some reason I don't know why. But I got my logo on there. Uh this is my, my rental. So I got my logo on there, I got it on the other side. And I, and I don't think this is uh hopefully it don't break up break up on you but my garden's back here that's some of it that's all my tomatoes and my um, okra the tall stuff is okra and these are green beans maybe we could see if my um bye Linda you leaving maybe you can see if my crazy neighbor's home. But I don't um I don't think I don't think she's home right now. Nope. So sorry guys, you don't get to see my crazy neighbor today. And today she's really getting she was really crazy. Brooklyn. Brooklyn is in the house. Uh Ryan Best's daughter. Her last name is Best. Brooklyn Best BB. All right, I'm going to put this down. Y'all probably getting dizzy. Sorry about that. I just had to give y'all a look-see. No, I used to have chickens, um, and, I, and I'll go out there another day and show you the chick, the old chicken coops. If I had a smaller chicken coop that I converted from a rabbit cage for my daughter had a rabbit, uh, long story, that's another show, but uh I converted that smaller one in because I had little chicks. So I had two heat lamps in one side and I blocked it off. So they had all the heat. And I, only one of them died out of like 26 of them. They gave me like two, two free chickens, chicks. So then when those got bigger, I made a bigger chicken coop out of free material. Everything was free. I had six by six posts. I, I did a link log. I did the whole thing. Um, the top of it was a, uh, uh, billboard sign it's a big thick vinyl like a slip and slide real thick durable i use that as the top for the roof so and then when i had bigger chickens i had those there and i got some more chicks so uh no more chickens right now because they say we don't supposed to have chickens in cahokia all right von lippy you have a good night i appreciate you uh coming coming to see me Yeah, it's kind of dark. It's getting dark now. It's uh, the zombies are coming out probably in about an hour. Put these uh pretzels up because I'll just snack on these all night. That's what she said. Yeah, I think Miss Hobbs woke up and she thought it was, she thought she slept for a week. She thought it was Friday again. She thought it was like nine o'clock on Friday. She saw me go live. All right, Trey, uh, thanks for coming and you have a good breakfast. And everybody that wanted to, uh, Miss Hobbs, I don't even think he even knows because she just woke up. But my neighbor, my crazy neighbor, showed up at the funeral. Not even a joke. Don't even know my best friend. Didn't even know him. Didn't follow me. I watched, I watched my review marriage. So, whoa, transmission blew. You had a bad day too, huh? I'm just going. I'm gonna tell the story again, guys. I'm talking to my friend outside the funeral home, right? Or, well, the church. And uh, I see this car. I, I watch. I watch stuff. So I see this car, and I look. I say, "Hey, 
Ain't that my neighbor? I was like, no, nah, that ain't her. Well, he started walking off, and I said, hey, that's her. And uh, Ashina, I will remind me to tell you in a second you, what you just said. Talking about she loves me. Remind me after I tell the story, if I forget. So I'm in I'm in the church, right? Me and my ex was with me because she knew Avon. And my friend that was in back of me and his wife. I see the crazy lady four rows back or so sitting. She sits down in pew. So I'm just sitting my own business. Nobody's talking at this point. I'm just staring at the casket like this. I hear somebody right here. She said it kind of loud. All of us heard it. She goes, I'll slap your face if we wasn't in this church at this funeral. No lie. I wouldn't lie to you about this. Well, when she said that, the two, uh, my friend and his wife in back of me, didn't even believe it and didn't even really know who the lady was. And uh, they're like, did she just say she would slap your face if she wasn't in this funeral? I said, yeah, that's my crazy neighbor. So I didn't really pay it too much attention. Well, I saw her talking to the pastor back there. So she was telling me, she always says to everybody, oh, he has a gun. She knows to carry my gun on me because I can still carry. She knows I have it on me. So she told the pastor. Well, the pastor and the other deacon pastor, they took me to the office back there. And he asked, he says, Brent, he said, are you a security? Are you security? Like, no. And they said, well, do you got a gun? I said, yes. I said, I have a concealed carry as well. So I showed them my card. They was fine with it. Nothing. They said, make sure it's covered up. I said, yes, sir. It's covered up. Concealed carry. Well, we went back to sit down. Halfway through this funeral, two police officers came down the middle of the aisle. Said, Brandon. Like, yes. He said, come with me. So we went to the office back there. The pastor was saying, hey, we got um, everything's OK. He goes, sir, let's do our job. Well, he went to um, he said, hey, there's a door right there because he was going to he was going to walk me outside to talk to me. I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to jail. And um, so. He the, the cop says, we'll take care of this. Well, he asked, he goes, what's the problem? Said, there's not a problem, officer. I said, it's probably that crazy lady. She probably called because I had a gun. I said, I've always got a gun. I got a kid still carry. So the pastor was trying to tell him there's a door right there that we can go out of to go outside, not to cause a disturbance. This police officer didn't want to hear nothing that pastor said. We walked down the middle of the aisle in the middle of the funeral to walk me outside to, to ask me if they can hold my gun until after the funeral so they feel more secure. I said, uh, you would feel more secure because you have my gun. I said, I carry a gun so I can feel secure. I said, I want my gun back. You got my information. You ran everything, computer. Everything came back clear. There's no deaths on this. I said, my best friend's funeral in there. I said, if I'm not being detained, I'm going back in there. You have a good day. So I started walking back in. He tried to talk. He said something about wanting to keep my gun. I kept on walking. So that's the end of that story. Nothing happened but a disturbance that caused in the middle of a funeral that she called. She called and told him I threatened her with a gun. They even came in with an extra vest, I think, because I didn't even know they had an extra vest in their hand. I don't know to put on her because I think I'm going to shoot her. But they had uh, my ex told me that. So why did they bring the extra vest back there? So I didn't see an extra vest. But yeah, uh, you will not. I mean, nothing gets past me with that lady. That nothing surprises me. I guess I could say, but that kind of that kind of took it over the edge where she has no limit. And I I thought she never had a limit, but I thought that was like out of bounds. Out of bounds to call the cops, somebody in a funeral for something that didn't do to cause disturbance. So 
basically right now, I'm going to tell you, this lady has no limits. No limits. But other than that, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I, I've already said it like at the beginning of the video, five minutes and now. So if anybody else comes in and I miss their question about that crazy lady, about then you let them know that it's been talked about twice. But yeah, it's uh, really uncalled for, very uncalled for. I thought they was going to take me outside and uh, put me in jail. But they read my record like, because they was like, whoa, we can't read the numbers off this gun. I said, well, I said, you might as well clean it, clean it a little bit. I mean, as clean as it can be. I clean it every two weeks. But he's trying to say that he wanted to keep my gun. I'm not giving East St. Louis police officers my gun. And if you're East St. Louis police officer right now, I'm sorry, but not sorry. I've had some bad run-ins. If you get my gun and and you take it to take it downtown, I'm not getting my gun back. I'm gonna let you know now. I will not. They, dope comes up missing at that place. Hey, where's all the evidence? They get mad because all the evidence is gone because somebody steals all the dope, all the guns, everything in the police station. So I don't know if it still happens. So let me clear the record now. That's what used to happen like 15, 20 years ago when I used to frequent the jails. Heard it from my own mouth. Not my own mouth. Heard my own ears. Oh, 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 Sheena. Thank you. Thank you, Sheena. I went to court one time and I was I was on my way to an AA camp out. I had to go a day late. I always go to camp outs like two or three days early. AA camp out. Well, I had everything packed in my truck with tarps over at East St. Louis court building because I had to go to court that that uh, the day that I was supposed to be going camping. So I had to go a, a day late. Well, I was ready to go. As soon as that court date, I'm going. Well, we get in there. It's, it's a younger younger judge. She don't look too bad. I'm just going. I just had to throw that in there. Well, she kept playing like, cause uh, she she said, cause this crazy lady. First time I've ever heard her say this in like 12 or years or so at the time when she about 12 years. She's like, she told the judge we was lovers. I about laughed and choked at the same time. Never heard that in my life that she said that. And I told the judge, I said, judge, I used to drink a whole lot, a whole lot. But I, and I pointed at her, I said, I've never drank that much. The judge looked at me and she goes, Mr. Clark, how long were you lovers? I said, ma'am, that's not funny. But, uh, she said it to the cops again tonight while she was there. She said, we used to be lovers. Like, no, sir. I said, my ex-girlfriend's in there. She, he said, you mean Georgia Goriola? I said, no. She was sitting, but the other one's sitting behind me. I've never been with that Georgia Goriola. I don't know where she gets this from, but I'm pretty sure if you drink, you might have a night that you don't, for, you don't remember, but... If you're with somebody, I'm thinking you're gonna remember something. Like I've never been with that lady, and that's when I got an order protection against her the first time because I think she really believes that we used to be together. I'm gonna to beg to differ. I will beg to differ. Oh, I was gonna have a, a TV show with her because she tried to sue me for a. Uh, uh, what's that called when you when you slander or something like false accusations about her character? Judge Joe Brown, their their, pe their people, their people called me and I told her all about this about putting a gun in my face and all this stuff. They wanted me on their show. They I said, well, how much are you going to give me for get coming on the show? Well, we'll pay if she wins the case. We'll pay your five thousand dollars. I said, ma'am, I'm not going to lose this case. I'm not. Well, just in case, I said, ma'am, I'm telling you now, I will not lose this case. I got video. I got DVDs of her. I got I got all my stuff on my computer. I will not lose this case. I said, you pay me $2,000 and I will go on the show up front, $2,000. She said, well, you can counter sue. I said, ma'am, you don't win counter suits no more. I said, just give me $2,000 before. I'll give me $2,000. I will go. Hung up on me. 
So they didn't want the they didn't want the juicy gossip. Yeah, she needs more than a padded cell. She needs a padded box. Ooh, almost made me curse. No, Sheena. No, no cell box. A padded box. Yes. i not I didn't even stutter. All right. Other than that, I'm about to I'm about to uh, jump off the computer here. If you got any questions, um, need to know anything that I could talk about on on the internet, uh, feel free to ask me. Other than that, I'm going to skedaddle and do some editing. Hey Brian, thanks for thanks for joining me, man. Usually I show up later on here, but I, I got on a little earlier for some people that 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 missed my my later late night my late night stuff. All right, Mike, thanks for tuning in. Maddie, did you just get here, Maddie? Oh, Maddie, I done said it two times. Uh, I'm about to jump off this live, but if you look five minutes. Five minutes into this video or jump to one hour. And after one hour, I talk about it again. So uh, I talk about it uh, two times. So as soon as it comes on, about five minutes later, I start talking about it. And then I talk about it again after an hour. So check that out once I once I log off here. Uh, but before I go, though, I'm going to let Maddie have one question. Hope it's a good one. Hope you don't waste it on something crazy but uh did you got you got a you got any other kind of question other than um other than um that jail thing i'm starting a video that's a little personal miss hobbs that's a little personal you're talking about you're starting to live thanks Sheena. i really appreciate you guys coming uh thanks katie Thanks, uh, Maddie. Thanks, Aaron. Little T, thank you. Thank you for the questions. Uh, that's about all. All right, Ryan, thank you very much. And uh, Brooklyn, you have a good day. Well, good night. My next contest will be Wednesday at Amigos Bar and Patio in Cincinnati. I'm not going. I'm not going to go live because every time I go live, it's screwed up. People complain about it. The lighting, the lag, uh, anything possible. So I don't go live on those. But if you want to check out Amigos page and ask them how they go live, because they didn't go live on Amigos page, they went on his personal account. So go to Amigos Bar and Grill in Cincinnati. Well, bar and patio, amigos bar and patio, message them and ask them which account are they going live on and get that account and uh, and log on to his because it was weird last time. They didn't even go under the under his uh, bar and patio. They went under his name. No, little T, I'm not going live on, on contest. If you only knew what I know. You wouldn't even ask, but I go live on here doing this at home, but live on contest, I can have five bars on my phone and it will cut off on me three or four times. And instead of me doing the live, getting it cut off with a crappy feed all the time, I rather have a video on my phone for me to use for my YouTube than have no video at all. And everybody complaining that it's too loud. People's in the way. It's lag. It lags. Bad lighting, so hey, thanks, James. All right, everybody, I'm out of here over and out. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. You guys have a great night. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And got a video posting at 1 a.m. Central Time. 
that is in five hours. So there'll be a video. All right. Talk to you later.